Welcome to the Generate and Import Certificate Training Module. This module will take you through the process of generating an import certificate in Wallace. Certificates that can be generated include Certificate of Origin, Chapter and Standard, Certificate of Free Sale and VR1 certificates. Begin the process by logging into Wallace using your username and password. To generate an import certificate, you will first need the shipment ID, WBC number or exporter's reference that you wish to generate a certificate for. The shipment record number can be found from My Records or Shipments via Collections at the top of the Wallace homepage. Your shipping approval email notification will also contain these numbers. If accessing from My Records, you'll notice that this is a list of all applications and approvals under your login. Shipment application records are prefixed with SA and approved shipment records are prefixed with SH. SH numbers can be used to request the import certificate or the WBC number which can be found in the description. To generate an import certificate, click on the Generate an Import Certificate button on the homepage. Begin by selecting an option from the What Would You Like To Do drop down list. Apply for a new import certificate is to be selected when no certificates have been previously issued for the shipment. If a reissue of a certificate that has had changes made to the shipment, select Make Changes to an Existing Import Certificate. If certificates have gone missing and a reprint of the same certificate is required, select Reprint an Import Certificate. In this example, we will apply for a new import certificate. Wallace will then ask if this is for a registered shipment. Select yes or no by using the radio buttons. If you select no and wish to apply for a non-shipment specific certificate, the certificate request will be reviewed by the export assistance team. Some examples of these certificates include certificates for shipments less than 100 litres or a product registration certificate for certain markets. Responding yes will prompt Wallace to ask for the shipment ID, SH number, WBC number or exporter's reference. In this example, we will use the WBC number. Enter the WBC number and click next to continue. After you've confirmed the export license details, you will need to enter the certificate details. The destination market field will be pre-filled from the information that has been entered in the shipment. The certificate type drop down field will only list certificates relevant for that market. You are able to select more than one certificate type in an application. In this example, we will be requesting a certificate of origin and certificate of free sale for China. Select the certificate of origin from the drop down options. Repeat selecting the certificate of free sale for China. Please note that if a certificate is selected in error, it can be removed by using the cross in the certificate name box. Click next to continue. Step two is where you enter the exporter details. Wallace will pre-fill information where it can from the registered shipping approval. Confirm the date of departure of the shipment is correct. If this isn't correct, please email the exports at wineaustralia.com for the shipping approval to be amended. Select the trading name from the drop down list that you wish to have displayed on your certificates. Scroll down the page to continue checking details. Continue through the page to check the import details. The consignee name cannot be changed, however, the consignee address details can be updated if needed. Indicate if the consignee is to appear on the certificate as the importer using the yes no buttons. If you select no, the imported details will need to be manually entered using the fields available. If you select yes, the consignee details will be copied into the imported detail fields. Scroll down the page to continue. Check that the pre-filled shipment details are correct. If there's been a change to the vessel or flight details, you can update this field as required. Click next to continue. Enter the place of manufacture in this field. This can be town, state or even country. In this example, we will be entering South Australia. Select yes or no to whether you want the shipment items to be split across multiple certificates. For example, if you have four products on your shipment and you need to have two products displayed on two certificates, you can choose to split the certificate. In this example, we will be selecting no. Click next to continue. Step three is where you check and update the shipment items that is the products that are on the shipment. 
To edit any product details, tick alongside the product and click on Edit Selected. Please note that the HS code, weight and origin are not indicated as mandatory fields in Wallace, but may be required to be populated for customs clearance. If the label description is not entered how you need it displayed on the certificates, you can update the certificate label description field with what you would like entered. If this field is left blank, the description will default to what is entered in the label description field. The marks and numbers and HS code fields are not indicated in Wallace as mandatory fields, but may be required to be populated for customs clearance. Enter the gross weight for this shipment. Gross weight can be the total litres or kilograms. Once the required fields have been populated, click Submit to continue. You'll be taken back to the Shipment Items page. Once all edits are made, click Next to continue. Step 5 is where you can preview your certificates before submission. To preview your certificate, click the Preview Certificate button. A draft copy of your certificates will be downloaded to your PC to view. This example is using Google Chrome as the browser. The pop-up will be different for different browsers. Notification of the certificate download will be shown at the bottom left of the screen. Click on Open to preview the certificates. If no preview certificates are displaying, please ensure that your browser setting is not blocking pop-ups. This will open a new window to allow you to preview your certificate before continuing. Check the details on the Certificate of Origin are correct. Do the same for the Certificate of Free Sale. If you're satisfied that the details in your certificates are correct, click Next to continue. If you need to wait for your customer to check the certificates before submitting, click on Save and Resume later to save your application. Enter any additional copies of your certificates that you would like. Two copies of the Certificate of Free Sale and five copies of the Certificate of Origin will be printed by default. Additional copies can be requested by updating the field next to the respective certificate. Select the preferred delivery method for your certificates. If you select Post, the system will prompt for further address details. Select the preferred postal address from the options in the drop-down field. Wallace will show a list of addresses associated with the licence that you can choose from or it will allow you to enter a new address if required. Selecting a known address will populate the address fields for you. Selecting another postal address will allow you to enter the alternative postal address in blank fields. Click Next to continue. Review the application and click on Edit alongside each section if required. Scroll down the page to continue. Click Next to submit your application. You will be issued with a certificate application number prefixed with CA. Click on the View Record Details button to view details of the application. The status of your application will be displayed at the top of the page. A status of accepted means the certificate application has been approved and will be printed in the next print run. If a status of in progress is shown, it means the application has been sent to the export assistance team for manual review. The application can also be viewed by clicking on the My Records link. This shows that your import certificate application has been accepted and the certificates are queued for printing and processing by the export assistance team. Further help with generating import certificates is available from the Wine Australia export assistance team.